Good morning. I decided to step outside today because because I wanted to come hang out in nature with you. And today we're talking about being thankful, man. Because because uh, I think that's one of th- that's honestly one of the things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for you, uh, and I think sometimes we got to take a moment to do that, right? Thanksgiving is always one of those moments, those times where we we're told to press pause for a moment, and we, and we don't always do this throughout the year. To, and genuinely, we don't always press pause and take a second to sit back and enjoy, man. It's the small little things. I don't know if it's still if it's still going on. Ooh, we're gonna go do something with you guys. It's gonna be weird. We're gonna go do this. So here's one thing I'm thankful for. Thankful for you guys. We're gonna walk and see something else. I hope the internet. I hope it maybe it does drop, but I'm gonna see if I can get as close as I can before it drops. Um, hey, good morning. I want you to look at this this tree. This is a tree that I'm thankful for. It's very weird because I was walking by my house the other day and I saw this tree, and this tree legitimately like it made me stop it and, and think. But here, look at this tree. It's kind of weird. Look at this. brick i'm thankful for that tree it sounds super weird i know it sounds odd but i stopped as i was walking the day around my court i was like that's a beautiful tree so i'm thankful for the tree one i'm thankful for you i'm thankful that you get up every day and you come and hang out with me i don't know if it's come on baby eric came back we got in the wi-fi now i'm thankful for my problems and i'm going to talk about this because i think this is something that you got to take for a little bit in and kind of embrace what i'm talking about here we've all had some problems this year I've had problems. Um, people I know have had problems. Some people, people have had some crazy problems going on. And I know we don't always think about it, but I'm incredibly thankful for them. And here's here's why. Um, good morning, Shell OC. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. Why we trade there? Mari Bell. Hey, hey, hey. How are you, my friend? Uh, here's the thing. Uh, I, if you know my story, I grew up in a lot of crazy in life. As much as I don't, I don't like what happened, I'm thankful for a lot of this stuff. I grew up in foster care, giving away... A lot, of, a lot of weird things. I got, I got an interesting story if you go take a look at it. But I'm thankful for it all because it made me who I am today. It built the strength in me. It's kind of like saying I am thankful for my problems the same way I'm thankful for weights and how they make my muscles bigger. Sounds weird. Good morning. How you doing? Uh, Shimonia Wimberly. Uh, good morning. Mindset on lock. What's up, my man? Jeff, the entrepreneur. My, my, my people, I appreciate it. Heart and muscle. Hey, hey, hey. Um, so the thing is, I'm, I'm thankful for my problems the same way I'm thankful for weight and how they build our muscles. And, and what I want you to think about is in right now, in these moments, we got some things that we are sometimes like, man, this thing sucks. I am not a fan of this. This is impossible to deal with. Hey, 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 this is horrible. I want you to think about the fact that right now there are a ton to be thankful for. And we're usually thinking about I'm thankful for the money I have, the family I have. I'm thankful for all the great things. But have you stopped and been thankful for the craziness of your life? And yes, it sounds real odd, but I want you to be thankful for the craziness in life because it actually creates the muscles that you have to create the great things you have. If you did not go through the crazy, if you did not go through the hardships, if you didn't have that in your life, you wouldn't have built the muscles to create the great things you have in your life. And those are things that I stop and pause and say, man, I'm grateful for them. I didn't want them to happen in the moments. Heck, and I didn't like those things happening, but it built some new muscles. Uh, it built some better things. Like my business this year, we, we I, I honestly probably, I lost about $150,000 in speeches this year. That's a problem. <laughs> for anybody, that's a problem, right? And the reality is, is I, I was like, okay, what is this going to teach me? And I built some new muscles. And so at this point, we, we've actually surpassed last year's revenue goals, right, for the business, which is great. And I'm happy with it. And and for me, it's, it's one of these things where it allows me to find a, a place of joy in the problems because I'm literally looking at what's the silver lining. You hear all the time, what's the silver lining? And these moments we come to Thanksgiving, if you're in America, we got tomorrow, Jeff the Entrepreneur. Uh, yeah, grateful for the tax bill. I feel you there, my man. That thing comes and you try to find ways to not uh, have to pay as much. You start buying things and doing things. Different conversation for a different time. So... For me, I think that this time we always you know, come to America, it's thankful, man. We're thankful for the family, which I'm incredibly thankful for. I've had some problems within my family we had to deal with and finalize this year after a couple years. And that, man, I tell you, it helps you have some strength. Some things are crazy. It's, it's just people are weird. We call it that. But at this moment in time, I realize, and you should realize, every single great thing you have typically is on the back end of you having the strength you have because of something that went crazy that you weren't thankful for uh, and that, that didn't happen in the moment. It's something you appreciated. But if you think about the strength it gave you, you'd appreciate it. And this might be a person. This might be a situation, a career, a job. But I'm telling you, like I heard a story yesterday about a friend who her mom has had this job that she's been working for a long time, 25 years. And her boss, man, the boss did some crazy stuff. The boss pretty much closed everything down. 
and then did not give her retirement. Gave her six months severed, didn't give retirement, right? So then she stressed, she struggled. What am I gonna do? I have no retirement. I've been working 25 years for this and I don't have the money. I don't have the pension I put into or the, the retirement I put into. I got six months severance. What do I do with that? So she had a new idea. Her and her boyfriend, they sold their current house. They had a little bit of equity in it. Went and bought a property in a different state. That's not too far to drive away from where we live. And they have cashed out the entire house, four acres, a house that's perfect for them. She, uh, you know, has the six months of the revenue to, to, to live on, which is, you know, money she can live on. And found a great job that pays less, but the overhead's less because she has no mortgage to pay now. Way better situation. She, in fact, was in a situation prior to that if this all craziness didn't happen and that guy's business didn't go down, she'd still be stressed and struggling in that house in a situation that didn't feel that great. Now she's got a bunch of land for the gear and kids to run around and have fun and a house that fits her and her husband. And, and man, it's a different world. But she, she didn't have that happen until the problem happened. Now, I want you to think about you for your life. What's going on? Where, where are there some things in your life right now that aren't the greatest, but you can pull some strength from it to create something new and be thankful for it? Because the moment you do that, I mean, the moment your life changes. That, that's what I look at. Everybody doesn't realize this, but change is the scariest, hardest thing to do. But everything we have, it comes in a back end of change. And change is typically the thing we don't like, but it, it builds that muscle, man. So I want you, in this time, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you guys have a phenomenal Thanksgiving I want you guys to have this thought of this time as you progress into the rest of this week, this day today. Start looking back and not just being thankful for all the craziness, or sorry, all the great things that have happened. Be thankful for your craziness. Give yourself a damn pat on the back and realize you got through it. You built some muscles, you're stronger than you used to be. Vastly stronger just through the year. Every single person who's got through this year is, man, we, uh, we are stronger. And I want you to go back and appreciate that. Be thankful for the crazy because it developed new muscles in you that you can use later on in far better ways you might have ever done in the past. And that's something special. That is something unique. That is something I want you to actually take in and say, man, I'm, I'm damn great for the things I've accomplished. So, hey, Jeff, you want to hop on? Jeff wants to come on. I'm going to bring Jeff on. I don't always do this, but I like this idea. I'm going to bring Jeff on. You ready? Jeff, come on. Don't, don't ruin the, uh, the flow, bro. Uh, where's he at? Maybe he hopped off. Uh, what? Oh, he's connecting. Jeff, the entrepreneur. What's up, my guy? Anthony Trucks, my guy, man. You were speaking right to me. I had Les Brown on before trying mm. to fight that negative, uh, the, you know, the negative bug when you're around, you know, I'm just a window salesman, man, trying to, uh, inspire people today. Right. But, I um, dude, oh my God, dude, like literally you, it's like you were in my head. So I appreciate you. Hey, so I have this huge Make More Money podcast. People have been crying to go on. You got to come on it, man. Um, All right. I, I, like invite only. We'll figure it out. My assistant, Ice, who, dude, literally, when I said the tax bill, man, you're 100% right, dude. I got to start being more strategic about stuff like that. But My wife and I were looking at buying a, a house and another business to find ways to not have to pay tax. It's not that we're like avoiding. You don't avoid tax. Just so you guys know, it's not a tax avoidance. It's just being wise with what you do with it. Because if you don't put it somewhere, then they take a whole great deal of it. Well, it's, it's being a good steward, steward of your money, right? All the wealth and anything that you, you possess and you get, you put it in vehicles that then you can do more with, right? So, and that's, that's really what it's about. Actually, there was a, a TikTok video where they, they did it. The guy showed have a business. He did, he like hit them all, man. It was like a young kid TikTok. This is why I yeah. love it. He was like, have, have an offshore business in Puerto Rico, which actually I'm going to be uh, jumping on. If you actually hold the whole co corporate office in Puerto Rico, I don't, I study this stuff all the time, man. I'm an entrepreneur. It's my job, you know, but I got in Puerto Rico because of the 4% tax flat. Yeah. I totally get it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're supposed to actually, I just found out this is what I got to do. Uh, Grant Cardone's event just got switched to Miami. Um, yeah. So it's not going to be in Vegas. And I already booked my ticket to, to freaking Mandalay Bay. So I got to go get my money back and then transfer it there. I want a travel agent, man. I can't be messed up with all this stuff, you know? So, yeah, I, yeah. but dude, yeah, no, um, you definitely spoke to me because uh, today's, the 2020 has been a trying year to me. Technically, right. um, I mean, I, I blew up in, in a different sense of like, people all reached out to me because they just saw me hustling for years. You know a little bit about my story, right? So, yeah, yep. Yeah, so so I was just hustling and working, and then as soon as this happened, you know, I was I'm I'm living. I still want to build the biggest franchise ever, Kokomo Jays, and honor my older brother, right, Jay? But my younger brother's still alive. He's working on the front end of Chili's, being a GM, and mm -hmm. I started helping all these people just get good with their money, making six figures during COVID. A business owner who lost money, and it's really yeah. Lord given, man. He just helped me, like, just get him in the right vehicle. So. It was the most fulfilling thing I ever did. And then Joe calls me back because I own some real estate. Nobody's going to pay. 
the window business was going down. Everybody was canceling, right? And um, so now I, I'm actually on strategic ways of do I liquidate my 401k and put it in something like an IUL investment? Like there's all these different strategies. So I'm just going to pray about it and figure it out. It depends upon you know? who you – everyone's the best one. And it's like, ah, we'll figure it out. It's, yeah, uh, and, it's an interesting world, man. It it's, what I think is it's beautiful to be able to be in prosperity, to be in a good place. Yeah. What's that? There's a video. There's a picture. I was on a podcast called The Dedication to Excellent Podcast last night. We talk about yeah. a picture. You've seen it. It's on my story. It's this little girl in Puerto Rico. I know she's in Portugal. She has two bottles of soda. And she, she has her eyes there and there's like little treats and the, the walls are dirty, dude. Everything's dirty. And they're so happy to give her a soda and that that's like her birthday party and do a perspective. Yeah. Man. Like, I know like Gary Vee says it all the time, but it hits me right here, man. You know, I was complaining uh, the other day about my tax bill. I was actually on this computer here advertising at Chili's where my brother works. And there was yeah. a kid there busting tables with one arm working harder than any, anybody. And, you know, mm -hmm. I've been very blessed to make more money than I thought possible this year. So I gave him some money. I gave him my business card. And uh, anytime I get, like, so sad or scouraged, I always think, man, I have two arms, you know? And, Damn, um, man, you got, you got something going on that's positive. Everybody's got something that's below. But, yeah, it's a perspective, man. Perspective drives a lot of the actions that anybody has. But the one thing you were just saying right now, you were saying that, um, like, I'm like, man, why am I going through all this? That's what kept going through my head, you know? Why am I doing this? All of us. How do you say it builds what? Muscle, should, man. It builds strength, baby. And it's so it always strong. does. It's it's the, it's the invisible strength though. It's different because it'd be like if I force somebody to lift weights without them knowing, and all of a sudden they were like buff. A lot of people right now are all of a sudden buff because the world gave them some craziness. And the fact that we get through these things with a little bit of strength, a lot of it feels like survival, which it, it typically is. Yeah. But man, the moment you actually look in and go, oh dang, like I got some strength I didn't realize, man, you can reapply that in vast different places. So I'm incredibly thankful for the crazy man. It built some new muscles in me which allows me to go and help other people build muscles too, man. Yeah, dude. And that was it, man. That's what spoke to me right there. Cause I, I was like, Oh yeah, I guess I am stronger. You know, then I'll figure out the next year when I do taxes, it'll be better. You know? Yep. 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 True. True, man. All right, bro. I appreciate you hopping on send me the message wherever you mentioned you need to send to me to get to, on the podcast. And I'll gladly hop on. Um, I got to hop off cause I got a meeting I got to go to, but Eden, Hey, how are you? Hey, appreciate you, bro. Uh, coming on, hanging out. Let me know about all this stuff. And then everybody else tuned into the world. Thank you guys for hanging out, man. I uh, appreciate you guys. Have an amazing, phenomenal Thanksgiving. Be thankful not only for all the greatness, like the great things you have, but also be incredibly thankful for the craziness because it builds some dope muscles that make you, and they make it an amazing human. And then when you can lean into those things, it creates such a different life. And seriously, that's what you're here for. You want a different life. You want a better life. And better isn't bad. Repeat this. Better isn't bad. Just because you want something more doesn't mean you're discounting everything you already have. I love my life. I love my life. It, it, I love it. I, everything about it. It's, it's crazy. I'm overwhelmed uh, with the joy I have for what I get to do for people in the world and what I, what I have and I've, I've achieved in my life. But I still want more. I still want to see what else is out there that God has for all of us because, man, the abundance is real. And it's a matter of you determining I'm going to go get it and not letting the bad things be reasons you don't do well, but let those bad things be reasons you build muscle to create amazingness. So take care. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless.